Hello and welcome to the episode 323 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Short episode today with just a few entries, concentrating on live gigs, on Paul McCartney having the idea for Sgt. Peppers, and on the continuing work on Magical Mystery Tour. Let's start with the 19th of November 1960, the 47th night of the Beatles' residency at the Kaiser Keller in Hamburg, West Germany. At the time, the Beatles still featured Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass. One year later, in 1961, the Beatles were again on the stage, this time that of the Casbah Coffee Club in Liverpool. The band had moved one step closer to their definitive lineup, with Paul McCartney taking on bass duties. That lineup, with Ringo Starr taking the place of Pete Best, was in full swing in 1962. On this date, after their usual two hour lunchtime concert at the Cavern Club, the Beatles performed two concerts in the same evening. First, they appeared at the Smetwick Baths Barroom in Smetwick, and then at the Adelphi Barroom in West Bromwich. On the 19th of November 1963, the Beatles' Autumn Tour resumed with two shows at the Gaumont Cinema in Wolverhampton. And before going on with the real highlight of the episode, allow me to remind you that you can get the extended, deluxe version of the podcast. See how visiting www.simonmas.com support, where you will also find a list of things you can do to help me out to produce more and better music-related content. Thank you! Three years later, in 1966, on the flight back home from Kenya, after his holiday there with Jay Nasher and Beatles assistant Mal Evans, Paul McCartney had an idea for the next Beatles project. In many years from now, his biography, Paul tells that impersonating a fictitious band might have taken quite a bit of weight off the Beatles' shoulders. Pretending to be someone else would have brought in some fresh air and allowed the band to do something radically different, if they wanted to. Sgt. Pepper apparently came out on a play on word from the salt and pepper packets served with the onboard lunch Paul was having with Evans. The Lonely Arts Club Band part came out when Paul started fantasizing on something that could have been hip with the current cultural climate. McCartney liked it because he thought it was unlikely that a Lonely Hearts Club could have a band. It sounded like something that could pique the interest of the public and force them to look at the project in a new light. Gone were the four happy-go-lucky mop-top boys. It was finally time to be grown-ups. Finally, as you can expect, the editing of the Magical Mystery Tour film went on in 1967, at Norman's Film Productions, as usual. This concludes another episode of What A Fab Day. Tomorrow we will have another quick one, but with a couple of not-too-known curiosities you will want to check out. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.